What is going on guys? Welcome to your 11th Java game development tutorial. And before we get started in this, I need to change something I messed up in my last tutorial. In our animation class that we made, we actually set our constructor to private in Bears, and We need to make that public or else it's going to be virtually useless to us. So now let's go ahead and begin our tutorial. And don't forget to change that. It's pretty important. So in my Bucky main class and I say main class because it holds my main method and I'm not going to be going over anything in my main method because I told you guys before go outside your main method and this is where we're going to start our tutorial um, again you should know all this stuff from your last tutorial now what we're going to need in this tutorial to start out is three different variables we need a screen variable to access our screen class an animation variable to access this animation class right here and also a background variable to store the image of our background so let's go ahead and make them all private um, screen and I'll just name it screen simplicity and private uh, image I'll name my background BG and this is going to hold my background image and private animation and I'll just name the A because I'm lazy and I don't feel like typing animation out so this is going to be my screen object my background variable and my A is going to have access to the animation class so the first thing that we're going to want to do is probably build a method to load the pictures from our computer to local variables so we can use them in our game so let's go ahead and put public void load picks and it's not going to take any parameters awesome and the first thing we're going to want to do is probably load our background so set the background equal to new image icon and as a parameter remember it takes a string come on cursor of where the image is or the file path pretty much so this is c dot backslash backslash i had mine in a folder called test and i named it back dot jpeg and now once you got your file path just get that image using the built-in method get image so now we need to do this for our two animation images and remember I have two pictures in my animation one with my eyes closed and one with my eyes open so we'll give the appearance that like I'm blinking I guess so image I'm gonna name the first one face one and this is me with my eyes open and we'll just copy this because we're lazy and copy that crap right there and paste it right over there and it's in the same folder but this one is called face one dot ping and now for my other one oh we can just copy that whole thing right there this is a little too easy um, face two and of course change the file so now we got our background loaded in this variable and our two images of my face loaded in this variable so now we need to make our animation object so a equals new animation right there constructor doesn't take any parameters so now we have access to all the methods in our animation class through the a object so let's go ahead and the first thing we want to do is add these new faces and convert these pictures to a scene so remember in our animation class we had this method called add scene right here and what it did is it takes a picture aka face one or face two and it adds it to our array list and it also sets the time it wants to play it so let's go ahead and do that right now a dot add scene and it tells us our parameters first what image do we want to add face one and how long do we want it to play 250 milliseconds and this is a quarter of a second so now that we added this scene or added the image to our array list we want to add the other image as well so we want that image to play for a quarter of a second and we also want face 2 to play for a quarter of a second so now let me just take this extra spacing out of there and let me add a little comment loads pictures from computer to Java and add scene so that's what this method load picks does and now let's go ahead and build our run method and this method is going to be the main engine to run and it's what's going to be called from the very first main method right here so we better not mess it up 
um, name it public void run and again a display mode and we'll just name it DM is gonna be passed in you guys should know what the display mode is just like um, the settings pretty much and let's go ahead and make our screen object equal to new screen so now we have access to all that stuff in our screen class so now we can try to do a couple things in our try block the first thing we're going to want to do is take that screen and remember we made a method called set full screen in there and it's going to take um, the display mode we're going to pass it in and new j frame as a parameter which is the window pretty much and what else do we want to try right off to begin with well the first thing we want to do is load those pictures like we just built right up here load pics and right after that we want to do something called movie loop and what this method is going to do and I know we didn't build it yet but it's going to be the main movie loop and it's pretty much going to loop through and play your movie so after we try that what do you want to finally do well since we're in full screen what we want to do is get out of full screen so after we're done playing our movie just restore screen just like that so in essence here's what we did in this tutorial we loaded all the pictures from our computer to use them we added those pictures as scenes in our movie and then after that we just put it in our run method so now that we have that method we can finally use this run method and all this does is pretty much set up your screen right here loads the pictures obviously and plays your movie so that's all this program is going to do um, pretty much to load pictures and play a movie and now of course we need to build a couple of other methods called movie loop and also another draw method but probably one more tutorial and we will be animating our first animation and it will be amazing it will be a huge stepping stone because this is one of the most important things in games animation but enough of me rambling on I'm sure you're ready to get the next tutorial so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial